All right, y'all, so we are about to train back. This will be the first time I've trained back, specifically since my injury. I'm gonna try and do deadlifts. I'm probably not gonna go above 315 pounds. I'm gonna kind of feel it out and see how my back's doing. Um, but I just did some, some stretching, kind of loosen up a little bit, so hopefully no further injuries. Let's do some back. All right, y'all, back workout in the books. Did back and some biceps. Felt good throughout the whole thing. I didn't go crazy heavy. I only went up to 315 on deadlifts and 365 on rack pulls. Back feels solid, so happy about that. All right, everybody, I got two big old boxes here, and these boxes are full of goodies. And we're gonna use what's in these boxes for an upcoming experiment. The experiment that Danny and I are gonna start doing in January. It's not really an experiment. It's more like a lifestyle type thing. But I'm excited nonetheless, but we'll, we'll have more info on that. But I'm going to show you what we got in here so far. <clears throat> I'm excited. My knife is dull. All right. Whew. All right, here we go. In here, we have 50 pounds of ground beef. So we have 50 pounds of 75, 25 ground beef. So they come in pound packages. So I got 50 of these bad boys. Super excited about that. This one is not ground beef. This one is, this one, is 32 ribeye steaks. There's, they're 15 ounces each, 32 of these ribeye steaks. So I got 32 ribeye steaks, 50, 75, 25 ground beef for the experiment that Danny and I are gonna be doing in January. Get ready. What is going on everybody? It has been a full day of all kinds of work. I have not filmed hardly anything. I apologize, forgive me. But check out this wall that's coming along quite nicely. We got the black wall behind us. We still gotta patch that spot. The, the spackling is drying, so we haven't painted that, but doesn't that look so much better, y'all? 
so much cleaner so much cleaner now oh let me show the bathroom now the bathroom's got the, all three coats in it um, so this is the bathroom much much better as well isn't this lighting good though like I could totally be vlogging in the bathroom y'all wouldn't even know I guess you would now um, but another thing that I want to work on and Crystal and I are going to work on right now is this front room this front room we just have not known what to do with it's just kind of like there's no defined reason for it we have a bunch of empty wall space here we have like a little trophy spot i gotta hang that up somewhere jonathan made that for me thank you jonathan um but i gotta figure out what to do with my trophies i got this random table over here i love this table my pop built that table um, empty wall space. Uh, we have these white boards, but they're not on the wall. Calendar. Uh, huge shout out to Brian Kane for making the calendar. Um, bookshelf, and then more wall space with an ottoman with antlers on it and a wine rack with no wine. So we want this to be more of like a like a co-working space basically like I want to find a conference table stick it there and then it just be like a productive use of the space that we have um, so that's what we're gonna do today I think we're gonna go get some more racks more storage racks we might go to a furniture store right now and look for a conference table because I've got Jonathan's coming here in January I'm gonna put him to work I want to have him like a space to work a space that we can like all collaborate on some things. I've got a couple other people coming here to jam on stuff. So it's just going to be a busy work environment here. And I want it to be like a conducive work environment for getting things done. So that's what we're going to do today. Get ready. All right, y'all. So I'm going to be totally honest with y'all. This is the next day. That's how crazy it's, it's been. I wasn't able to post all the footage from what you've seen in this video thus far because. Well, honestly, Crystal and I got in a fight last night. We didn't film anything. It, it was pretty bad. Um, we got in a pretty big fight. But we're good now, which is the main thing. So we didn't film anything, so we picked up the camera again. Right now, I'm just going to like combine these days and make it a big vlog. Um, so as you can see, this room has kind of been turned around and deconstructed. we got a rack right there and a rack over there. And, yeah. It's interesting, though, because in the footage from yesterday, which is in this video, uh, I got those boxes from US Wellness Meats that I opened up, and I just happened to get a box from Butcher Box today, and I've never eaten anything from Butcher Box. They emailed me and offered to send me some stuff, um, so I'm quite curious to see what I think. Generally speaking, I've not ordered from Butcher Box because everybody's emailed me saying that they have leaner cuts of meat than U.S. Wellness Meats, and I don't gravitate towards the leaner cuts. But I will try anything, and I'm very appreciative of them sending me this in the first place. So let's see what I got. I got pork. Is it pork chops? Looks like pork chop. Yeah, pork loin chop. So we got that. We got uh, grass-fed ribeye steaks. So two ribeye steaks. I got some grass-fed ground beef, 85.15. I got ooh, big old chuck roast. So excited about that. We have chicken breast. Oh, for me. I haven't had chicken in ages. Um, and then I got another two grass-fed ribeye steaks, so that'll be good. Ooh, we got some applewood smoked uncured bacon. And I got wild-caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. So stoked about all these things. Huge shout out to Butcher Box. Um, I don't know what this is, but probably like a little catalog. So I'll start cooking this up, see what I think. 
Again, I don't know. I haven't tried Butcher Box before, but I appreciate the gesture of sending me some stuff. I'll give it a shot and uh, try it out. Looks yummy. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm just going to round out this vlog with another unboxing here since I have so many things to open up. This is, if y'all remember a while back, I got some samples from Keto Vitals of their new electrolyte powder, which I still don't think is out yet, but it's getting pretty close because we now have, like, end packaging. So that is pretty cool. Uh, so we got a mango flavor and we have a fruit punch flavor. And let me just preface this with electrolytes are super important. If you're on the ketogenic diet, if you're on any diet, you, sh you should know that electrolytes are very important. Having the correct balance and equilibrium of your sodium, potassium, magnesium, and water intake is what allows you to not retain excess fluids. Um, it also allows you to get a better muscle contraction, a better muscle pump. If you have headaches, which I actually do have a little headache now, so I'm probably deficient in my potassium, then this helps with that as well. Now, most electrolyte supplements on the market currently don't really have that much electrolytes in them. Uh, the potassium pills are capped at 99 milligrams, so not a very good source there. Um, I was doing a lot of the Vega Hydrator, but they've recently changed their formula and now there's less potassium in there, so not a fan of that. The Noon tablets also changed their formula and there's a bunch of, um, I forget what it is, but there's a carbohydrate intake with that. I think there's like a like glucose polymers or something in there. I don't remember, but I don't like it. Um, and then what else do I take? I take Zip Fizz is an option and Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder. So Zip Fizz and Dr. Berg's are the only two that I've been using lately. Ultima is decent, but there's not a whole lot of potassium in Ultima, which is why I'm very excited about this company, Keto Vitals. Um, I've known the owner for a while. He was actually asking me about kind of the ratios to put in these. I gave him my two cents um, and he did not disappoint. So this is, uh, let's read off the label here, one scoop, so 4.8 grams, um, 60 servings per container. I don't know what his price point on this is gonna be since he just shipped them to me, but 60 servings, which is really good. Um, we have calcium as calcium carbonate, calcium citrate, uh, dicalcium malate, 100 milligrams. Magnesium as magnesium oxide and magnesium citrate, we have 200 milligrams. And then sodium as sodium chloride and sodium citrate, 200 milligrams. And potassium as potassium citrate and potassium chloride, 500 milligrams. So 500 milligrams is really good. I usually try and shoot for about a four to one ratio of sodium to potassium. So sodium, um, you know, I salt on my food, I try and get, for me, I try and get for about 4,000 milligrams of sodium a day, between four and 5,000 milligrams of sodium. And then for potassium, doing a two to one ratio, if I'm taking in 4,000 milligrams of sodium, I'm shooting for about 2,000 milligrams of potassium. Again, there is potassium in the foods you eat, but I don't count that. Um, I, I eat a lot of meats, so there's some potassium in there. I just count what I'm getting in from my supplementation. So I'm probably gonna shoot for about four scoops of this throughout the course of a day to get my 2,000 milligrams. I might titrate it up and start at about 2,000, um, two scoops a day. So uh, 1,000 milligrams of this and then see how I respond and then increase if necessary. But I figure I might try it for you right now on camera. Fruit punch or mango? I think I'm gonna go with mango because I haven't had anything mango-y in a while. So, let's see what we got. I don't know if there's, a, there's probably a scooper in here, but I'm not gonna dig for it. I happen to have a spoon, so. Oh, what is that? Dry card, that's not a scooper. All right, so I'm just gonna do, I'm making a mess here. Here's a scooper. So, I'm gonna do one scoop. I've got like a little cup of water here, probably only about six ounces of water. So this is much more concentrated than I typically drink my powders, but I'm excited to try it nonetheless. So 500 milligrams potassium, 200 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams of magnesium, and 100 milligrams of calcium right here.
that is pretty good. That is not too sweet, but it is flavorful. I'm going to be using this in place of Zip Fizz and in place of Dr. Berg's going forward. Thank you, Keto Vitals.